Yeah. Jack, congratulations on the win. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was uh, really good. I think I speak for everyone when I said when I say we all, uh, all really enjoyed it. Um, first 10 minutes started maybe a little bit shaky, but then straight away I think we we got into the game and played some really good football. And, Hopefully showed everyone what, what we know we're capable of. How welcome was that first goal? Yeah, it's always nice to, obviously on a personal level, to get on the sheet uh, straight away and then obviously put us in front. We uh, switched off a little bit with um, letting Halifax back into the game, but I think from then on we uh, we controlled the game and so we'll never look back. What did you think at half time? I mean, you got back in front. Did you expect the second half to be? quite as plain sailing as it was because in the end you could have had even more than set yeah um, no we were just sort of saying we need to start right in the second half we we thought they'd come come back out at us um, but we said if we can the third goal's right or if we can get that third goal then hopefully it'll kill them off and, and then there'll be a there'll be a lot more and that's sort of sort of what, what happened so yeah it was, it was as I said really really enjoyable to play play in and I think as you said we, we could have had more I must just ask you about that third goal. What was your view of it? What? My <laughs> third goal? Well, the third goal. Was it... Uh, oh, the third goal, goal right. Um, <laughs> Losing count, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who, whose um, goal was it? <laughs> I, I've just got to trust Wrighty on it, really, because I can't see whether he's touched it or not, and he reckons he hasn't touched it. So that's why I asked for the when we got the penalty. That's why I said, look, let me take it, because obviously if you're saying you've touched that, I've only got two. So either way, you've definitely got your hat trick. Yeah. And let's not talk about the penalty, which you also dispatched well. But what about the curling effort just beforehand? Yeah, it was a um, good build-up play. I think I found Vaughan on the edge of the box and found me back, and then sort of it was a bit under my feet, and then just sort of tried to dig it out. And yeah, I was really, really pleased with that goal as well. What's the mood like in the changing room? Everyone's buzzing. Um, obviously, we lost. We lost against um, Tranmere last week, but I said um, this sort of squad. We sort of just look to the look to the next game, and that's what we'll be doing now. Or even after a result like this, we'll just be looking to the next game and looking to pick up another three points. But um, today was vital to get back to winning ways with with the manner we lost in at Tranmere, and uh, obviously I think we sort of maybe it was a little bit of frustration from the Tranmere game. We sort of showed exactly what we can do out there. Um, I think the gaffer's been been talking about it when we when we. Um, get that game that we know we can get then everyone will sort of know about it and I think today was the perfect example of that. Is it a sign of a quality side when they lose they bounce back the next match? Yeah I think definitely like we didn't really dwell on the loss at Trammy which we could have because I think we could easily have took three points there as well um, but literally straight away from training on the Monday it weren't it weren't a training ground which was sort of down in the dumps after a loss it was sort of a training ground looking to focus on the game at Halifax. Jack congratulations on the win and good luck in the coming matches. Cheers thank you. Jack um, do you think that's the first time you've properly run a game in, in senior first team football? Uh, yeah definitely I think personally I think I played like quite well and I was getting a lot of room in both halves really um, but I think as I've mentioned that was that was the game that we know we can we can produce and uh, We've just got to produce that in as many many times as we can, and I think I don't think there'll be any any teams in this league that can deal with it. We've just got to produce it on on bigger occasions, if you like, against the Forest Greens, the Grimsby's, the Tramiers, and and teams like that. Yeah, the manager actually said he got a bit emotional. It was that good? That good a performance? So yeah, yeah. Emotional in the dressing room after the game? Uh, no, not really. He didn't <laughs> see me. He just sort of seemed over the moon, really, like everyone else was. Um, so hopefully we can sort of take that, hopefully it ain't a one-it wonder, hopefully we can sort of take that game that we, we've just showed there, that performance, and if we, keep, if we keep pulling performances out like that, then results, I think results will definitely definitely be there. Yeah, it's nice to know that the team spirit's there, that you, you can let Wrighty have that one and then he lets you have the penalty. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I, when I saw, scored my second, I knew there weren't long left, I was thinking, if we can, I'm not really going to score from open play again, if we can nick a penalty, hopefully I can ask Wrighty if I can have it. So when I seen Morgs go down, I was I was buzzing, yeah. So I just said, look Wrighty, you've you've denied me one of my goals already, let me have one, <laughs> one more. And when was the last time you scored a hat-trick? I don't think, last time I got an hat-trick, I, I didn't have any in youth team football. Probably when I was about 14. So. Yeah, <laughs> and the first one since um, the opening day of the season, I know you've set, you've set yeah, quite yeah, a lot of um, you since then. But. Yeah, I've got a few assists, but 
I sort of I spoke to my dad about it last night. Actually, he was like, "You got you got to start scoring again," because I sort of got the got one at Lincoln first day of the season. I thought, "Let's kick on now and get two, three, four in four if I can." And but no, yeah, it was a, it was a really good to get the goals today, and hopefully I can push on with the goals and assists, which in turn will help will help the side climb the table. Yeah, were you tempted to jump into the crowd again today? No, no it was a bit far today. <laughs> There was someone on the fence, then I might have, but uh, I didn't have no family here today, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, if they were there, I might have. But in terms of uh, your recall to the team, you, you couldn't really done any more to say you're, you're in the team to stay now. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the gaffers mentioned this is it's a good squad here of well, we've got 16, 17, 18 players. So I think everyone knows that they've got to be on it to 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 warrant their start. And I think hopefully we've we've all showed that that we are and sort of a bit of a, a a difficult decision that the gaffer would like to have in picking the side for, for Tuesday against Braintree. Yeah, quite a few players have said that it's only a matter of time before somebody gets a proper thumping and that was it today, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. I think um, we sort of nearly got there in a few games but um, haven't really quite. We've sort of done it in patches, like half hours here and there, but I think that was a, apart from the little blip for their goal, which we switched off at, from from our attacking corner, um, it was a, a real dominant performance for the old aunt, 90 minutes. Yeah, and you're back at home Tuesday, and then you've got two more, two more away games: trips, Gateshead yeah. and Bromley. Bromley, which is quite localish for me. So hopefully you get a few there, and same sort of performance, be yeah. nice. Cheers, Muzzy. Cheers, thanks.